Hi! We are doing Path of the Hunter for the Black Panther. It's available on a billboard here on the map, right just above the boar sign. It'll come up as a little blue icon. And it allows us to craft the extended syringe pack, which allows you to carry 12 syringes, which is pretty cool. And we're also going to snag Heron Relic 22 while we are going. So it's along here to this World War II anti-aircraft gun, and just down underneath it to the left, down these stone stairs, here on the right of this doorway is the Heron Relic. There it is. Now the Panther quest involves killing the Panther with a bow, so you've got to tool up, or I don't know, whatever they call it, but that's where the relic is, right next to the yellow dot. But it'll be marked on your map when you get close, and also it'll be marked on uh, if you've bought the item map. Anyway, there's a goat there that you can't appear to skin, and there's a bow there if you don't already have one, and a bunch of arrows that you can use. And then you get a little blue area that you've got to explore for the panther. And there's a leopard near it. And actually, leopards are just a panther variation along with mountain lions and cougars, which is why when you skin um, mountain lions in this game, you get leopard skins. But anyway, uh, I came here, I fired up the um, killing and the enhanced perception by mistake. I, I had the wrong thing set. So I craft a hunter's instinct and also deadly hunter. Hunter's instinct allows you to see animals and deadly hunter allows you to do more damage and you'll want to grab a bunch of amber leaves. Fortunately there are a lot around here. You can see on the mini map there's a load of them there so you probably want to just grab a bunch. That's the black panther there. I've just activated Deadly Hunter because I'm trying to get a shot on it, but I bounced that one off the rock and that one's clearly not going to hit. So then I realise it's probably worth tagging them. So break out the camera, zoom in, and there is the leopard. And the leopard will eat your face along with the Black Panther if you get too close. There's the Black Panther. And the first time I did it, I ran in and it all went a bit wrong. So I would recommend keeping your distance and trying to snipe the thing from as far away as you can. And every time you hit it, it'll start wandering off or at least lay an arrow next to it. And if you actually hit it, it'll run like that. So it's obviously got scared. So then I try and make my way over slowly and stay high. Because again, as I said, when I dropped in last time, they both just mauled me. So by keeping away and trying to land one on it, I'm doing a little more damage. But my deadly hunter has run out at this point, which is unfortunate. Um, deadly hunter is actually really good if you can get headshots. I've done it on a tiger mission that I'll show you in a minute, and well, not in a minute, but on another video. And I managed to take a tiger down with two bow shots, so that was kind of pleasing. But the leopard is up here on the right, and the last thing I want the leopard to do is kill me. So I'm just trying to pick the panther off from a distance, and eventually it runs away and goes over the hill, leaving the leopard there, which is rather too close for comfort. Now you can kill the leopard however you want, obviously, because it's not a uh, mission, so I just open up with a submachine gun and take it out. And thankfully, unlike Assassin's Creed, you don't have to skin everything that you kill. But here we go. So now I craft. I always, I never bother carrying these. I always just keep empty spaces for the things I might need on the fly. Because it's pretty easy just to craft them and use them. But here we go. Uh, an arrow there gets it. And then another one I think I hit it with. And then it starts coming for me. There's one sticking out of it. <laughs> panther. But there we go. Two arrows, close range, and the panther is down. And then all you do is skin it. And you'll get a little notification about how you are ready to build the extended syringe kit thing. Extended syringe pouch. I'll get that in a second, or maybe I'll just go manually and craft it. Yeah, here we go, crafting. And so pop down and create that. And now instead of nine, I can craft 12 syringes, or at least carry 12 syringes, which is awesome. Okay, anyway, hope that was useful. Lots of love, bye!